Do you remember when the Cleveland Browns went 0-16 in 2017? Or how about when they cycled through 29 quarterbacks and 11 head coaches in just 20 years? Or when it took them 18 years to earn a single playoff appearance? Well, now they're coming off their first playoff win in 26 years led by their franchise quarterback, Baker Mayfield, the fourth best running game headlined by Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, the league's best ranked offensive line, and the generational pass rusher, Miles Garrett. After a near perfect offseason in which they earned an A for free agency from Bleacher Report and an A plus draft grade from Pro Football Focus, the Cleveland Browns belong squarely in the middle of the Super Bowl 56 conversation. Browns fans were far too patient for far too long, but now they are reaping the rewards. While the Browns' biggest accomplishment this offseason was successfully revamping their defense, it is important to understand how their offense, which ranked dead last by an embarrassing margin just a few years ago, transformed into one of the most respected and efficient units in the league. In 2018, the Browns sent just a 4th and 7th round pick to the Dolphins to acquire wide receiver Jarvis Landry, and then took quarterback Baker Mayfield first overall and running back Nick Chubb in the second round. A year later, they traded away safety Jabril Peppers, a 1st round pick and a 3rd round pick to the Giants reuniting LSU wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. with Jarvis Landry and giving Baker yet another playmaker to work with. They also signed running back Kareem Hunt following his release from the Kansas City Chiefs in 2019 too. They added one last piece in 2020 with the signing of former Atlanta Falcons tight end Austin Hooper. These moves spread across the span of three years, lay the foundation for the Browns offense we know today and they serve as the reasoning behind their offensive offseason moves in 2021. Despite Baker Mayfield offering the best seasons a Browns quarterback has put together in decades, the Browns passing offense still ranked 18th in the league. Though this was largely done without their superstar number one wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr., who tore his ACL in week 7. Regardless, in the third round of the 2021 draft, the Browns selected wide receiver Anthony Schwartz, a dangerous slot option that frees up Beckham and Landry from occasional slot duties so they can each line up on the boundaries much more often. Assuming OBJ remains a Brown, his return and the addition of Anthony Schwartz combined primes Baker Mayfield to have his best season yet. The Browns also re-signed wide receiver Rashad Higgins, a target Baker relies on with confidence when Higgins makes it onto the field since he outproduces expectations when given the chance. While receivers are a large portion of how a passing game performs, the Browns also effectively incorporate their running backs into their air attack, but are yet to find the magic recipe for integrating their prized 2020 free agency acquisition tight end Austin Hooper. Therefore, the return of Odell, the addition of a speedy threat they were missing in the form of Anthony Schwartz, and the likelihood of new approaches being crafted to properly utilize a top 10 tight end Austin Hooper bodes extremely well for the passing offense. All that in mind, don't be shocked if the Browns, who heavily rely on their phenomenal run game, managed to sneak into the top 10 passing offenses of the league next year. Speaking of the Browns ground attack, let's briefly touch on it. And I say briefly because not much changed between this year and last year. Too many organizations try to improve already elite parts of their team by overcomplicating and reconstructing, so it is refreshing and reassuring to watch the Browns fully abide by the age-old motto, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. With Nick Chubb still playing under his rookie deal, the Browns locked in Kareem Hunt through 2022, meaning the lethal tandem isn't going anywhere anytime soon. More importantly though, the Browns ensured the best offensive line in the entire league didn't change whatsoever, and when I read the lineup, you will realize why that's so valuable. 
2020 rookie left tackle Jedrick Wills Jr. Three-time Pro Bowler and second-team All-Pro left guard Joel Batonio. Savvy veteran center J.C. Treader. Second-team All-Pro right guard Wyatt Teller. And two-time first-team All-Pro right tackle Jack Conklin. With that star-studded backfield running behind this first-rated offensive line, there was absolutely nothing to change, and there is absolutely no reason to expect anything less than another elite ground attack from the Browns this year. Now, unlike their offense, the Cleveland Browns defense heading into the 2021 season looks completely different than it did just three months ago when their 2020 season concluded. The Browns run defense scraped into the top 10 units of the league, but their passing defense ranking a measly 22nd pushed the overall defensive unit down to the 17th spot in the league. Starting with the defensive line, the Browns signed defensive tackle Malik Jackson, defensive end Jadavion Clowney, and defensive end Takaris McKinley, and drafted defensive tackle Tommy Togiai in the fourth round. Signaling a change in approach by letting run-stuffer defensive tackle Larry Ogunjobi depart this offseason, both of their new defensive tackles, Malik Jackson and Tommy Togiai, offer pass rushing upside to a painfully average 16th ranked 2020 pass rush unit. Additionally, the search for someone to pair with Miles Garrett comes to an end, with Jadavion Clowney signing a reasonable one-year $8 million deal. Only playing a full season once in his seven-year career, Clowney is a game wrecker when he makes it onto the field. The former first overall pick tallied nine and a half sacks in his only full season, displaying the production the Browns hope he can replicate this year. If he happens to get injured though, the Browns locked in an insurance policy with their super cheap Dakaris McKinley signing. With Miles Garrett practically guaranteed to put together another phenomenal year, Jackson and Clowney are sizable upgrades from previous starters and McKinley and Togiai are great upside additions that both have the potential to become game-changing rotational players on passing downs. The Browns invested a lot of capital into making their front four more dominant, and knowing that they would now have enough talent to almost guarantee a top 10 finish in terms of sacks if everyone stays healthy, which admittedly is a big if, it is fair to say it was well worth the investment. Moving on to the linebacking core, the Browns signed linebackers Anthony Walker and Malcolm Smith before eventually drafting linebacker Jeremiah Uwusu-Koromoa in the second round. Starting with their big ticket free agency signing, the criminally underrated 25-year-old former Indianapolis Colt Anthony Walker logged two seasons of over a hundred tackles before notching 92 tackles last year. Further solidifying the already stingy Browns run defense with the addition of one of the best run stuffing linebackers in the whole league. It's also always great for young guys to be under the influence of savvy veterans, and the Browns accomplished this by re signing Malcolm Smith. Athletically, the Super Bowl 48 MVP is a ways away from his best football since he's mainly just a sporadic contributor. But the nine-year veteran who was drafted in the first round has plenty to share when it comes to overcoming adversity and being an asset for a championship team. Those are lessons the Browns hope arguably the biggest steal of the draft, Jeremiah Uwusu Koromoa, quickly picks up on next year. JOK is a raw athlete with rare explosiveness and aggressive tendencies that will need to learn linebacking fundamentals he lacks for his talent to translate into the NFL. With Malcolm Smith and a talented coaching staff as his mentors, expect JOK to become a dominant force offenses have to scheme around by the end of the year. In regards to the secondary, the Browns signed cornerback Troy Hill and safety John Johnson, then drafted Greg Newsome in the first round of the 2021 NFL Draft. The Browns secondary was their biggest weakness, and they placed plenty of emphasis accordingly, 
gaining enough quality players to likely become the most improved secondary of the 2021 season. Some of the problems the Browns faced were a result of unfortunate injuries, such as season-ending ones to corner Greedy Williams and safety Grant Delpit, as well as nagging issues for corner Denzel Ward and safety Ronnie Harrison. This issue could arise for injury-prone incoming rookie Greg Newsom, but he is a guaranteed shutdown corner who only allowed 12 completions in the entire 2020 season when he was on the field. With Newsom and Denzel Ward inferably lining up on the boundaries, the Browns will match up Troy Hill, a cornerback with the best slot coverage grade of any defender last year, with opposing slot receivers. To round out the back end, the John Johnson signing brings a whole new dimension to the defense. With questions about how effective a young, inexperienced Grand Delpit will be coming off of a serious injury, Johnson is a surefire game wrecker that can compensate for the weaknesses of his counterparts given his intelligent, well-rounded playstyle. With the improved health of Williams, Delpit, Ward, and Harrison, and the additions of Hill, Johnson, and Newsom, this previously lackluster unit looks to become one of the premier groups in the league. And they will accomplish just that so long as they can remain relatively healthy this season. The Browns' transformation from an 0-16 team to a legit Super Bowl contender in just four years has been a remarkably beautiful development to witness. Offseason after offseason, the Browns' aggressive approach to trade for proven players, their newfound knack for drafting generational talents, and their recent ability to entice top free agents culminates into one of the best, if not the best, rosters heading into the 2021 season. With a phenomenal young core surrounded by polished talent and a bright coaching staff, the Browns have the potential to create a sustainable dynasty. Will this team rise to the occasion and win a championship for Cleveland, or will they regress back into their destructively dysfunctional tendencies? If it's the former, well, the NFL better be ready to be dominated by the dog pound. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, help build our community by hitting the like button subscribing to the channel, and turning on post notifications to be alerted anytime I upload. Let me know your thoughts on the Cleveland Browns heading into the upcoming season in the comments. Take care, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.